going to need a bag of kava or some kava root. You're going to need some bowls to squeeze the kava out in. You're going to need some strainer bags, some type of strainer cloth. We use nylon strainer cloths. It helps if you have two of them put together inside of each other to make it stronger so you squeeze it and it doesn't rip. And you will just need some measuring cups, some water, it helps to have some lecithin. To measure out the kava, you want to use approximately one cup of kava root for every two cups of water. You put it inside of a bowl. And you want to use warm water. This water has already been put in the microwave and it's already warm. Put that right inside of it. And you want to soak it like this. Stir it up really well. And soak it for approximately 30 minutes once it's once it's uh, in there. You want to use about one teaspoon of lecithin with that ratio of one cup of kava root to two cups of water. If you're using warm water, the stuff will dissolve in there. That helps to activate the kava lactone and to help your body pick up the kava more easily. There you go. Now you just want to let that sit. You just want to scoop it out of the bowl over a second clean bowl, dump it through the strainer bags, and put a handful so that you have about a handful of it. And what you want to do is you want to squeeze out all of the water, all of the juice. And you want to squeeze the first one out as best you can. Looks really nice, doesn't it? That's the first press. Stir it back up again. Now what you want to do is take this and put it through the blender for 30 seconds. This helps to tear up the cobble lactones. We're not going to put it through the blender on this video because it's noisy, but you get the gist of it. Put it through the blender and then pick up right here with this step. You want to go through and do the exact same thing again. Squeeze it out a second time. This time you want to squeeze it out so that it's dry. You want to squeeze all the liquid out of it that you possibly can. And you can dunk it back in there once or twice if you want to to get the kava wet again so that you squeeze it out real well. But the real trick is to squeeze it as dry as you possibly can. See the foam on the top? That's how you know you're making good kava. Final strain to get all of the pieces of fiber out. You want to rinse out the two strainer bags really well, make them clean, <clears throat> and put it over a nice clean bowl so you have kava that doesn't have chunks in it. And dump what you've squeezed through there. And you don't want to squeeze it too much, you just want to want to get all the particles out. And that is how you make kava with the nakama at home. You can put a little bit of ice in there if you wish. Now, this is how you drink it. Ozzy's hardcore, he doesn't need any ice in it, he'll drink warm kava. All right, Bula. Bula. That concludes our kava making with Nakamal at home.